Hey. Good morning. Good afternoon in some places, probably. But here in Portland, Oregon, it's good morning still. I've got it at 11.44 a.m. on Friday, the 4th of September, 2009. This is the first in an installment of serial videos I want to do on uh, rational recovery. What this means is the ability to, to get sober. I have a plan. A plan that works. It works so well because it's common sense. So it's easy to relate to. There's no deities involved, higher powers, or anything like that. The one thing you must remember is that you're the power. The one thing you have to remember is that you make every decision of your life. Whether you're going to get up in the morning and be hungry for breakfast, good food, or the bag. Which sounds better? Breakfast, I know. Tastes great, too. First thing, oh yeah. That's usually what you do after you get a fix, alright? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, listen, I'm not talking about marijuana as an addiction. No such thing. It doesn't need this kind of a intervention. Crank, speed. That's mostly psychological, but uh, it also needs more of a uh, mental prevention. All your prevention basically is going to come down to this, that you're the one who decides what you're going to do. Let's so take into account my case. Even though I was a heroin addict for many years, I, uh, when I decided I couldn't have enough, I couldn't have any more, that the lifestyle would just ruining me. I mean, there's, I couldn't do it anymore. It's too old, too tired. I quit. Thought to myself, I'll try an A. Went to the BB. The thing that really turned me off first was the uh, prayer at the beginning. Yeah, to remind me of things I know and things I don't know. Blah, blah, blah. The serenity prayer, they call it. Okay. Yeah, in the first place, I want to talk about me. Okay. And my addiction. I don't want to talk about your religion. So that kind of turned me off right there. Then they wouldn't take my explanation for how each individual in the room is uh, uh, basically responsible for what they do and say. So therefore, they make the decisions throughout the day, throughout their life, that has any bearing on what they're going to do, how they're going to live. Now, let's take also into account another case, uh, an alcohol case. My brother. William, we call him Lane. That's his middle name, but we call him Lane. This guy, this was a drinking fool. Man, man this, he could drink and drink, and he gets so drunk and belligerent, and he got tired of it. He got it so hurt really bad. I mean, he, I guess he was in a wreck or something, and uh, it was a good thing he was drunk, but that doesn't, that doesn't make drinking okay. It's just that if he hadn't have been and been able to wake up, he wouldn't have been alive. So he wakes up from that, he comes out of that, and he just says, God, i got to stop this. I can't do it anymore. I guess he went and detoxed in a, uh, a hospital we have here. He went and did his detox. And I'm sure they made him go to meetings. And I'll be willing to bet they were NAAA and prayer at the beginning and prayer at the end and the whole deal. So anyway, he gets out of the he hasn't had a drop since he left. Yeah. He quit you and he didn't go to those groups or anything. He sure as hell didn't give his life over to some higher power or any kind of a messiah or deity. He knew it had to be done. He knew that he had to be the one to make that decision. No one else was gonna do it for him. And he did. He's guy's been sober for, for I don't know, twenty five years, I think, without a drop. Yeah. But you know, no Jesus, no programs. Just the power and the desire to want to live. His own decision. He decided this. Yeah, it's that simple. I'm sorry. I don't know what else to tell you. But we're going to see. Uh, going to tell you how to get over your withdrawals here in a segment too. I just wanted to give a shout out. 
open up the discussion and open up the group to uh, whoever wants to join. So if you want to get sober, come on over. Okay? This is Gerald Reynolds. I'm in Portland, Oregon here. It's my brother, William. We'll be seeing you later. Make another vid. It'll be number two about addiction treatment and getting sober. You have a good life. Signing off. Good afternoon.